guys, so today you're gonna be watching the behind the scenes look of how I made my music video for the song titled The Nebula. It's off my new EP, Nebula Dance Music. And here you can see me setting up a bunch of different lights in a time lapse. I actually recorded this on my iPhone and I have some other footage that I'm going to show you that was recorded off my Fuji. There's a lot of practical effects going on here, so it's pretty cool how I made it come together. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I know this looks like a mess, but this is basically all of the equipment I'm gonna use to make this music video. So, here we have the setup. I have my live stream going on as I'm doing this. I got this big soft box of a LED inside that actually changes colors. I got this little space light right here that's really cool. It does a, it does a crazy pattern there. I got this Halloween light that does some ghost patterns, but with um, the effect I'm going for, you're not really going to see the shape of them. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing is actually getting this splitter to my Elgato so I can record this using this old camera without using the tape because I actually don't have any tape and it's actually more convenient to just directly record onto the computer which is going to be really cool. So I'm trying to figure that out if it works. If not, I have a backup CD camera. So this camera was a bust. Um, pretty much I need a different type of cable, I'm guessing, or, you know, something's wrong with the tape deck. Like, it, it's just not registering right. So I decided to actually go ahead and connect this camera. But yeah, this works perfectly fine. It registers on my computer and I don't have to use any CDs to record on it. It's really cool. So I'm probably going to just shoot the music video with this thing right here. And I'm going to enjoy it just as much as the other camera and with less hassle. Alright, really cool thing about this is that I can actually monitor it from here or the screen. But it gets really cool when... Let me uh, adjust the settings really quick so you can see this. I can actually zoom in, I have a low light effect, so you get like cool, amazing little trails of things and I can just like, footage, it's going to be something different, unique, but it's going to be like a visualizer and it's all going to be practical and it's going to be really dope because, um, you know, I kind of did this all myself, had the idea and it looks really cool, like, I, I can't wait to show you guys. So basically I've played the song and watched the monitor and I'm coordinating some of the lighting that's actually going to go on and off because I'm going to manually be switching, unplugging things, um, moving the speeds of the lights. It, it's going to be something, you know, that I'm kind of just creating and moving. I'm going to have the camera set up so it hopefully records me. It's a little dark in here and I can't sacrifice, you know, the light because of that. So. We're gonna figure it out, we're gonna see how it looks, and hopefully it comes out great. It's pretty crazy that I was actually switching all these lights on and off. When I think about it, it's actually very impressive that I'm doing all these roles at once. I'm being the director, the cinematographer, the camera operator. There's just so much going into this when you're doing it alone. And I've learned it's best to not be discouraged when you have to do things for yourself. And I'm very glad with the outcome, which you'll see next. It came out amazing. There are some cool elements in this video. Wow, I am so excited. It's, it's really cool. I captured light. That's literally what I did. So as I technically didn't need a CD to actually record this video, I used it just because I wanted to see the quality it would provide and just have it as a memory in case anything were to happen. But here's a little taste of what the actual video looked like and I'm going to show you what I did in post to just enhance the video a bit. I didn't want to go too much into using effects and all that, so I was very minimal in my decision making when it came to post but I did some things to make the video stand out the way I had it pictured in my mind. So I hope you enjoyed this little segment of the technical stuff. So I'm showing you the timeline for the video. Nothing too complicated. It's literally just the raw footage. But what I did 
was I actually combined the two recordings I did because I actually recorded two goes at it just, you know, for safety. It's just common practice. So I actually recorded two different segments. And one of the bigger things that I had to do just to make the colors come out was definitely some coloring. So you can see here that this is without the coloring and that's with it. It's very simple. It just makes the blacks a little darker and the colors a little brighter. So it's, it's a really simple, straightforward solution to me making the video reach its full potential. And it wasn't too complicated. Like I really just did that, synced it to the song. And it's really cool because you get a bunch of different things. And I really wanted to keep the effects minimal, so just to add a little bit of flavor to it, you know, I mirrored the image just so you get more lights, you get more shapes, because, I mean, it's just a better visual that way. So that's pretty much what went into my mind in the post process. And I have one more thing to show you how I've really finalized the video. So even though I am limited because of my hardware, I'm using a Mac from late 2012. I did upgrade the specs a little bit just by opening the computer and changing some key components. But, you know, I'm still very limited to effects and things. So when it comes to doing a bunch of editing, it's kind of hard to get the exact look I want. But thankfully, Final Cut has a lot of built-in beautiful things that are very compatible with my computer. So I was able to add this effect over here called Trails. And I just put a little bit of it just so it basically lets the light travel a little longer. Because I did get that effect with the CD camera. And that's why I chose the CD camera because it's old hardware that it was. Was able to just kind of give that effect of like a vintage look. So it's not like high quality. Um, it just works better with that video. I do have a more HD camera but that's why I went with that. And by adding this effect, look, I'm going to click it on and off. You see how you just get a lot more in your video versus not having it on. So I can play it without it for a second. Then if we play it with it. you get a whole different visual and that's pretty much it for the video itself. And this is how the final vid turned out. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes of my work. I don't really show this part of my life, but I would love to do more videos like this. So please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out my EP, Nebula Dance Music. I made it all myself in my room, just like this video and just like this behind the scenes video. So. You know, you kind of get a taste of what it's like to be on my side of things where I'm usually doing things all on my own. And it's not a necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of given the situation, you kind of have to figure things out for yourself. So thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching this video again. And I hope you have a great day.